stop using json and start using tune a 37 percentage saved in tokens as a result you can save on cost sending api request without tune takes 144 milliseconds but with tune is just 19 millisecond and it varies depending on the traffic as you can see here but on an average this is much faster than a normal json response it is getting popular right now because it can save loads of your money this is a completely free open source tool token efficient 30 to 60 percent fewer tokens llm friendly guardrails minimal syntax intendation based structure tabular arrays optional key folding and many other key features and i'm going to take you through step by step and what this tool is all about the comparison between json and tune format its benchmark comparing with other tools how you can set that up in your python typescript and cli that's exactly what we're going to see today let's get started tune stands for token oriented object notation so the workflow is that a json can be converted to tune using encoder and that information is passed to large language model so this is more effective in rag process 30 to 60 percent less token usage retrieval accuracy with tune is 73 percent and with json it's 69 percent in regards to benchmarking tune is topping the list compared with json compact yaml json and xml per model accuracy across four large language model 209 data retrieval questions and tune is at the top i'll provide all the code and the link in the description below you can see the comparison here this is the json structure and this is tune format for the same and for api response this is how generally your api response will be and here is the tune format for chat response here is the json structure and here is the tune structure 100 percent client side zero data collection token optimized data conversation convert json csv yaml xml to tune format instant results and save so here is a comparison chart so for a simple text you can see for pretty json json yaml tune only 32 tokens and for xml it's loads more so obviously tune is a better choice for this so first step open your terminal there pip install tune python and then click enter that will install the required package now we are going to create a file called app.py and we are going to open this in any code editor of your choice so from tune python import encode next providing the json structure that is name alice and age 30 and after that tune output is encode data so this is the main function which encodes this json into tune and then i'm going to print the response for verification that's it so literally one line which converts a json structure into tune format saving your cost and now i'm going to run this code going back to my terminal python app.py and then click enter now you can see the tune format here quick and easy next we are going to add a few more options so i'm adding encode options with delimiter as pipe length marker hash and it's a similar json structure and we are passing the same json and then few more options so this json could be a large json it supports anything but this is to show you there's an options feature which helps you to modify the expected output so now i'm going to run this code python with options so this is the first portion we created and here is with options so that is modifying the output so this is the expected output so i wrote the extra option in exactly the format i want so adding a hash here a delimiter between json data that is a pipe and structure represented like this so here is the list and we add a hash here so that is the length marker and the delimiter as pipe with four intent thirdly i want to show you one more thing to make this much more advanced so apart from the basic encoding option and customization i'm going to add a nested structure with user id name active roles and items so roles is again a list so that is nested so we are going to encode that and test how it's going to look like also much more advanced a timestamp data with price id users 
and mixed data. You can see how complicated this structure is. And we are going to encode that. And finally, we are printing out the response. So as a quick overview, first, we were trying to encode a basic JSON, but this JSON could be anything, a large JSON data. The second we tried is customizing the output by using encode options. And third, we are going to use nested structure, more advanced JSON. And now we're going to run and see how it's going to look like. Coming back to my terminal, Python app advanced. And quickly we got the response. So this is the basic encoding. Then we got the encoding with custom options, customizing our output. Then we got the nested structure and arrays. So user ID, name, active, roles. And here you can see a nested array, similarly for advanced types and optimized arrays. So we got the timestamp, ID, users, and the mixed. So by converting your JSON into Tune, you save on retrieval cost when we integrate this with AI. So this is the TypeScript, and we are using this Tune format, Tune package. And we're going to try printing the output. So in my terminal, I'm going to say npm install Tune format Tune, and then click enter. That will install the required package. And you can see the package.json here with type module. Now I'm going to run this code, node script.ts. And here I got the response. That is really nice. Now to install the CLI, I already got input.json. So here's the input.json and I want a tune output. So I can just type like this and then click enter. And that'll automatically encode the input and give it my output. So I'm going to open it. And here's a tune formatted output. Similarly, I can print the output directly in CLI. So I'm going to echo and pipe that to tune format CLI and then click enter. And here you got the response. So it is more flexible that it can be integrated in any of your tools, including CLI. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Also, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Or if you want more advanced implementation of this in real world application, let me know in the comments below. Considering you already like Tune, I also created another video about retrieval augmented generation, RAG, running 100% local on your computer, where you can integrate this Tune with that RAG. I'll put the link in here, and I highly recommend for you to watch, and I will see you there.